tiny homes are a perfect match for solar energy. Because they're mobile structures, it actually makes a lot of sense for them to not require grid connection. Also, the fact that they're downsized means that their energy requirements can easily be met by an affordable solar solution. Today is a very exciting day for me. The team from Solar Group are back, and it's time to get my tiny house powered by the sun. G'day, Roy. Hello. Good How to you? see you, mate. Yeah, likewise. I am super excited to get into the solar install today. Yeah, we're excited to be part of this project. So, tell me a little bit about what's going to happen today. How does this actually work? What's the kind of process for installing solar? Okay, the first thing you do, obviously, is you have to make sure that you have the right size roof and to see how many panels you can fit on the roof. The more panels you can fit, the better off you're going to be because you'll be able to charge your batteries quicker, even if it's a cloudy day or rainy day. So, uh, after you measured everything, you have to make sure that you don't do it all the way to the edges because you have to ensure that you have a good flow to the gutters if it's rain because the panels, if you do them too long, they will skip the gutter and that's not good as well. After measuring, you have to make a little plan of where you're going to run the wires. Then the process of the planning at that point is pretty, pretty much done. You know where the wires are going, you, you know where the panels are going and then you start to actually position the rails. I like normal houses. With a tiny house, we try to make the rails more robust because obviously it will be subject to driving vibrations. Um, when you drive 90 km per hour, it's equivalent to a 90 km per hour wind. So instead of having a standard two rail system, we are looking at a three rail system and uh, have more anchoring points to the roof than normal. So it gives it a better rigidity for the panel itself and basically it can't move anywhere, even if you are traveling at 90 km per hour. Although even the two-rail system is currently rated to 150 km per hour wind, we want to take a conservative approach. The last thing you want is to be on the motorway and one panel is flying off. That can be quite disastrous, isn't it? I'm pretty happy to be avoiding that problem, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm really excited to get stuck into it. Yeah. Let's get this house solar powered. It's a good idea to select the panels that generate the maximum energy per square meter. And the example that we have here is 60 cells panels that can generate 285 watt at peak performance up to 290 watt at peak performance. The other advantage of these panels is that they are mono crystalline panels, so they're a little bit more consistent in generation power in different temperature, ambient temperatures. It's important to plan well in advance the whole electrical system because systems that are charging batteries will have different voltage rating and you need to make sure that you match between the panels that you're selecting to your controller. So planning in advance is important. You just uh, you don't go and just look at the first panel you come across and chuck it in and then scratch your head, oh, which controller should I use for it? The other thing is there should be some healthy ratio between the panels and the batteries that the panels can charge the batteries fairly quickly, but you don't want them to also charge too quickly because then the power will go nowhere that you generate once your battery is full. Roy, I have to say, this looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, I've sort of had dreams of what this tiny house would look like once all of the solar was done, yep. but this has just completely exceeded all of my expectations. It looks amazing. Yeah, I must agree. I also like what I see. Yeah. It all looks very tidy, and I'm quite surprised that we managed to get four panels here, so that's awesome, you know? Yeah, because that was definitely the challenge, yeah. I mean, it's a very small roof area, and we were really trying to go for maximum solar gain so that we could make this house as functional as possible, and I think we've absolutely hit it out of the park. Yeah. Thank you so much for all your help, mate. Yeah, no worries. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.